Hello guys, in this video I will show you how to construct an involute of a square of side 50 mm. So this we will go to the AutoCAD 2007 and in this let me finish the square first. So I am selecting the line command and I am selecting a point and to it to be a straight line I am pressing R though here and I am drawing a straight line of length 50 mm and press enter then do not close the command let us finish the uh, square again 90 degrees then this is 50 mm enter left move your mouse to the left again 50 mm enter and now close the diagram so that we have finished this once the square is finished so as for the involute concerned we need to draw a straight line from here with the length of the perimeter of the square so that is 4 times this side therefore 4 into 50 it is 200 mm so 200 and press enter so once this is done then simply what you will do is you can uh, uh, we can draw three lines at three different points that is a b c d if it is considered at a b c d we need to draw the lines of different different lengths say supposingly here we need to draw a straight line of length 50 mm and then we need to draw a straight line of length 100 mm here that is 2 times the side and then we need to draw a straight line of 150 mm from here towards the upper side that is like this and already 4 times side is drawn here that is uh, 200 mm so Z enter E enter this way I have drawn once this is finished either you can go arc option that is draw arc start center end this is the start point this is the center point and this is the end point and repeat the command St this is the start point this is the center point this is the end point oh it has come in the opposite direction so let me draw it in the other way draw arc start center end this is start point center point end point and again repeat the command this is the start point this is the center point and this is the end point now it is again coming in the opposite direction so let us escape the command and draw it again draw arc start center end this is the start point this is the center point and this is the end point again draw arc start center and this is how you can draw basically of a I mean involute of a square of side 50 mm or you have an another option of drawing the involute also which will be almost the same but this is the exact method of drawing it but you can you can try to draw it with another method also so let me show you that method also so let us do it so let me first uh, like uh, draw the square here so, so instead of drawing the square again simply I am just copying it and pasting it here I'm pasting it here so that we can simply repeat the commands here so Z enter E enter let me let me draw the involute for this square by using another method so I'll select a straight line and perimeter we need to draw it so this is 200 mm so 200 mm is finished now instead of going for drawing a straight line here a straight line here and straight line here of two different different lengths I can use this this directly whatever the perimeter I have done I can use this for drawing or for getting the points on those things so simply what I will do is that instead of uh, uh, drawing separate separate lines First, I will divide this straight line into 4 parts because whatever the number of sides is 4. So, this one I will divide it into 4 parts. So, for dividing we will use the command called div enter. Select this and divide it into 4 parts. So, I am pressing 4 and press enter. The parts it is divided, you can see if I select like this, the parts are divided but it is not visible. For that we have to go for format, point style then change the point style to something like this and ok no point style is done once this is done now I will select all these things and I will use array option 
to rotate around this. So for arraying option, we need to have a center point first, right? So for that sake, what you have to do? You have to select a straight line and join these two lines as well as join from here to here. So that we'll get a center point here. From this point, we'll rotate it. So for that sake, what we'll do is that we'll select a polar array. So array I'm selecting it and I'm polar array I'm selecting it. So select objects. Object is select the straight line and all these three points and press enter. Once this is done, then it last center point. So now select the center point and select give this as center point. A number of items is 4 because only 4 sides are there and angle is 360 and simply press OK. So you can see it is it is come at all different all the locations. Now simply you can select uh, uh, like you can give this whatever the arc option is there you can draw it arc option or you can go with polyline also in some days. So something like you can go with polyline and you can start at this 0th point and here you can have first point here you can have second point here you can have third point and finally this is the fourth point but see this is not the exact curve right so we need to use the fit option for it that is so we'll use pe is the command name pe this is poly edit and press enter and select the polyline and give fit option so here we can get the approximate shape of the envelope so basically you see there is a small difference between this curve and this curve here right because this is a polyline or the curve which is by drawn by using polyline and this is the curve which is drawn by using circles this is the exact curve actually whatever the left i'll do one thing for uh, bifurcation I'm, i'll give you some line uh, different color to it so whatever the red color is there so whatever the red color is there that is drawn by using curves that is arcs circles and the trimming option are by directly using arc option you can draw it whereas whatever we have done using this uh, polyline option it is coming a little little difference because this is this is by using fit and poly edit commands so basically whatever it is feasible if if, if we do one thing see simply i'll do one thing i'll just uh, copy it and from here I'll paste it here you can see a little uh, difference is there see? you can see this yellow and uh, red uh, so red is basically the correct one and yellow is the second uh, whatever the polyline uh, option we have done so almost uh, with little changes almost it is okay so if you are in hurry bury we can go with this polyline but basically if you have time to draw then definitely this method is correct that is by using arcs or by using circles and trimming that method is correct so if you are having very less time and you want to finish it very fast then go with polyline but if you are having ample amount of time and if you want to finish it very perfectly then go for this method so that it will look perfect and neat so this is how you draw the involute of a square